Morning Show with Anthony here on 92.9 and 96.9 EHM. Of course, you guys listen every day. You know I am the patron saint of the, the Hamptons and everything good about the Hamptons. Uh, Bragg, a little bit too hard sometimes about this place that we all call home uh, because I'm so pow- uh, proud of it and all the great things that we have here from the beaches to the great venues to the executive chefs and restaurants and everything in between. So what we're going to be talking about now with our two guests that we're extremely happy to have is the Sag Harbor Cinema and this incredible undertaking that has gone on since the tragic fire uh, just about a year ago. We welcome on to the program uh, April Gornick and Nick Gazzolo. Welcome, guys, to the show. Great to be hey, here. Hey, great to be here. Yeah, so April, we'll start with you. Obviously, disappointing news. You guys uh, failed in your endeavor to raise money. You're here to announce that. Things have gone terribly <laughs> wrong. Uh, <laughs> Oh no! Did it? Not- oh, the evil saint of the Hamptons. <laughs> <laughs> did, did it not go? All right, I got to fire my pre-interview guy then. It, it went well then. I'm assuming you guys are doing really good. Well, now, let's start here. It's an interesting thing because you guys um, uh, set up this program where in which you had a year to raise this money, and we're down to about a month left. That's exactly right. And so, how are you yeah, guys doing? You're progressing towards your goal. Yeah. No. No. We're we're on our way. We still have about we have over a million to go. Um, but we're, we're well over six million and we're feeling, um, incredibly good today because we had a matching gift donation that was made to us, uh, for Giving Tuesday last week and we had a week to, to raise $50,000 to make that match and we just did it yesterday. So we're really thrilled. You know, we're just, we're leaving no stone unturned and, uh, asking people to ask their friends and neighbors and their rich friends and neighbors <laughs> to contribute what they can to this effort. A lot of people have said, oh, I don't do that until December. And, and well, it's December. And we're getting some calls from people who have been, like, watching the campaign like a kind of a soap opera all year long. And they're like, I love what you guys are doing. I want to help. I'm going to give something. And this community story is amazing and um we often say that it's sort of like it's a wonderful life except george bailey <laughs> is a cinema <laughs> and everyone is time is coming together and you know put what they can into the basket to have a happy ending that's awesome yeah uh, april and nick uh, are with us here the uh president and vice president of the sag harbor Par- partnership so i mean there's been a lot of fundraising and of course we're going to talk about that because we do need to raise a little bit more to get you guys over the finish line but you guys have some amazing plans for the new cinema cinema and what it's going to be we're going to make this um a place where kids can have classes about film history and they will have programs that are dedicated and geared towards them and um it, both as a form of entertainment as an as and as a form of education so we can have cartoon festivals for little kids and we can have japanese anime festivals for teenagers and we can have filmmaking classes for teenagers and we can have senior screenings and we can have we can have the rocky horror picture show at midnight we can do like all of these things and make it a much more robust much more active entity culturally out here on the east end yeah well i mean my my pride for the island is uh, vast everything from the new york islanders who are kind of no longer here you know all the way out to the uh, lighthouse um and the, and the sag harbor center was one of those places you know i can remember just passing by you know nick you and i were talking about this just before we got on the air just going down main street just to pass the sign um, I feel the same way. Like I used to love to just pass by just to see the posters that were outside, just to be like, what, you know, what what movie is like? Where did this even co-? like? You know, you would discover film that way, um, and um, that was one of the great parts about it. So I'm so excited that you guys are going through this vast effort to uh, make it happen, and it's great to hear that so many people are contributing, even in little amounts, to wind up piling up to big amounts. But you guys have had some high-profile donations as well. I know Billy Joel was one of the latest ones to get a whole bunch of press and put you guys back in the news. Do you guys want to fill us in a little bit on how that came about and how much it's gone to help the uh, process? Yeah, I I mean, everyone, (laughs) they think of Long Island, they think of Beck Harvard, they think of Billy Joel, and um, we were able to connect with him early on, and he couldn't have been nicer about just saying, hey, I want to help, you know, in, 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 the, in the warmest way. And that, you know, kind of put us on the map. At that time, we had a large anonymous donor, but 
but that just really helped get the story out there and, you know, the spirit with which he, um, uh, you know, offered that was, was just fantastic. So, um, we're, we're excited to have that. And, and, uh, you know, Eric Fischel made a huge gift and, um, that just helps get the word out and helps more people take notice. And, and so that's great. And, and as, as April said, we, and we, and we love everyone sending in $10, $50, you know, we have this incredible spectrum, um, of support. You know, one thing I want to mention is, uh, April and I live in Sag Harbor year round in the, in the winter, it does get dark at, I don't know, four o'clock and, uh, having a year round cultural institution is really important and not just a store that's open, you know, busy eight weeks a year, but having this really be a year round cultural institution and economic driver for main street. There was a study, um, by a leading firm that said the impact on the rest of main street is estimated to be over $9 million per year. So there's a great, you know, Main Street downtown revitalization story here too. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Because if not for you guys, it would turn into a John Varvatos like CBGBs did, and that would be horrible. You know. Aww. No, nothing <laughs> against John Varvatos, but I'm just saying, like, if he wants to donate, John, we're no, willing. No, I know. But, I uh, know. You know. I know. It did, well, we, you know, of course, we we want Main Street to be intact. And your latest high profile donor, uh, you guys aren't really saying who that is, but from what I understand. <laughs> He's a yes, wild and all crazy I can guy. Say is that a, a very famous anonymous <laughs> comedian who's known for having arrows through his head on stage and playing a banjo? <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, up. Anthony, but we, we can't we can't say his name. Um, that's totally yeah. okay. That's, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's okay. there's been a lot of there's been a lot of fun in the campaign. I mean, we're it's it's a singular opportunity to have a historic cinema in a whaling village that happens to be in the Hamptons and to make that into a world-class film center is just a super cool thing to do. I'd also love to add that um, if anybody who would like a taste of the sort of focus that we're having, we're starting a film series called the American Values Film Series. And we chose that um, subject and also that title because we wanted to be able to present films that show us Americans in the best possible light and the strong, wonderful values that America has always been known for and is celebrated. Um, no matter what your political stripe, we're starting with True Grit. We're doing a free screening at Pearson High School this Sunday at 2 o'clock. And uh, Julia Daniolo Vallon, who's one of our wonderful um, members of our committee, has um, helped program this. And we're going to have Carter Burwell, who is the composer for the film, True Good. This is the Coen Brothers version. We're going to have Carter Burwell host and talk about the film a little bit afterwards. And that's available for everybody for free, 2 o'clock Sunday at Pearson High School in their beautiful new auditorium. We're very, very proud to be able to offer film screenings that will go into the spring. We're also going to have um, All the President's Men with Carl Bernstein and the co uh, writer of Toy Story later this month. As and well don't forget as Chicago with Rob Marshall. Chicago with Rob Marshall and Bob DeLuca. This is super exciting. Yes. And Town Bloody Hall with uh, D.A. Pennybaker and Chris Hedgeta. So we have this amazing roster of people. And again, that that film series is listed on our org website if people would like to check that out. Yes, uh, Alec uh, Sokolow, co-writer of to Toy Story. We hung out at the Artist Writers Game, him and I, recently. And Carl Bernstein. He's not too cool. Uh, right? he, yeah, he, I I mean, he came over. He's like, hey, yeah, I wrote Toy Story. Like, it was so matter-of-factly. I was like, oh, like one of the greatest films of you know, the last exactly. 20 years. Like, I got it. Uh, and uh, Carl Bernstein, who's been a part of that, I know him uh, for years through the uh, Artist Writers Game as well. So you guys have a great, that, that series, that Pearson is great. It sounds really, really good. Well, we have these we have these drop dead people that are just like the most amazing um, film specific, you know, serious professionals on our advisory board and cinema board, and um, we're just 
so excited about this series going forward. Before I let you guys go, and again, SagHarborCinema.org, we're talking with April and Nick, who are part of the Sag Harbor Partnership, who uh, put a uh, put an agreement in place to purchase the uh, cinema after raising all this money, which they're not all the way there yet, but they, they're very close and, of course, still need your help. So donate if you can at SagHarborCinema.org. Um, I do have to mention Bill Collage, by the way, because he was the one who first let me know that you guys were even doing this. So I do have to give him credit for that. Although I don't want to give him too much credit because then his head gets big and then I got to deal with him. Uh, we'll, we'll take it down somehow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, Bill is a total sweetheart. And, and again, just having people, so many people like Bill who were big hitters in the film industry, just getting behind this and bringing all their talent and connections. It's, it's the only way we've gotten to where we are today. Yeah, well, again, let's not give him too much credit for it. I don't want that no, uh, no, no. Yeah, head getting out of control. Perish that thought. Yeah, his head's, <laughs> his head's big enough. I like to take him down a notch every now and then when I can. Um, but and you said are you listening, you Bill? That, are you listening? <laughs> and you said that you'd um, you talked to Susan Lacey before, too. She's the head of our advisory board, and she yeah. started the American Masters program on PBS. Yeah, and, and my like audience knows her work. Moment. She's done tremendous work, not only not only great filmmaking, but filmmaking about uh, music per, you know, personas. David Geffen, her film on him was mm-hmm. extraordinary, so my audience... Unbelievable. Yeah, wasn't it good? Right? So good. Oh. Uh, so she has a um, she has a Jane Fonda film that was just selected for uh, Sundance um, in January. She's wow. Susan is fantastic. Yeah, she's un- again. She's one of the she's one of the reasons, along with Bill and you know uh, the, the treasures that we have out here. That you know I, I say this all the time, and, and honestly, the people of Sheboygan are going to get upset with me, but. Sheboygan doesn't have this, you know, other towns in the country don't have what we have right here on Long Island, which is what's so great. So take me guys on the next step. Um, You get the 8 million in here with everybody in the audience donating a couple of bucks right now. Pressure, pressure. Um, What happens next? uh, Shovels in the ground. Like what's the next steps for you guys after the uh, fundraising? Well, Well, after we close on the property, (laughs) we'll we'll try and get a good night's sleep for the first time in a while. (laughs) And then, uh, as April said, we'll start the next phase of a a capital campaign for the construction funds. Can I just say we have like we have already received incredible offers of help from the community for the building phase. I'm a lot less worried about that than the initial purchase price, but um, I'll just give you one example, if you don't mind. Elizabeth Dow from East Hampton, who's a fabric historian, had called us not long after we began this whole campaign. It must have been back in May. She called out of the blue and she said, I have fabric that's incredibly durable. It's high, high grade, and I'd like to offer it to you to recover every seat in the new cinema. I just about fell over. I mean, the, the, the kind of the kind of open handedness that people have shown um, in terms of trying to make this work, doing what they can, lending their talents and their efforts and their inspiration has been just. I mean, it's it's kept us going all these months. That's awesome. All right, and people can pick up more information about helping out and donating. Uh, at SagHarborCinema.org. That's SagHarborCinema.org. Now, I understand that you guys are doing naming rights to the screen, uh, the screening room, the ticket booth, stuff like that. What I want to know, and maybe this is the most important question of all, what are you going to name after me? That's the important question. Because I Can I suggest a couple of things? Um, yes, please. A bathroom stall. I'll take that. Uh, also, the little thing that puts that's, extra that's already spoken for the bathroom. St- All right, okay. I got a couple. Of, I got other ideas. Don't worry. I got other. Uh, the the <laughs> thing that puts extra butter on your popcorn. If we can name oh. that. Or, oh yeah, yeah I believe that's squishy. available. Okay. Or at last result, the salt shaker. I'll take the last. The last result I'll take is the Anthony salt shaker. Can we make that happen? <laughs> I'm going to so. go out on a limb and, and commit to that on air. <laughs> April, are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you, Nick. <laughs> Verbal contract, you heard it here first. Anthony Butter <laughs> Adder or Salt Shaker coming to the Sag Harbor Cinema. So excited. Uh, We're but, looking for your check. This is great. Yeah, uh, uh, um, now, now, now you're going to get double. Now I'm going to match my own contribution. Um, uh, guys, thank you. You mean so, you want the pepper shaker too? No, 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 no. No, I, no. In fact, anybody who puts pepper on popcorn, I'm going to have them removed from the cinema immediately. Say? Yeah, no. <laughs> we can't no, have no, that. No. But black truffle oil, if you get that going, that would be nice. I'm just saying, these are ideas. Mm-hmm. We don't have to do these all right away. Worry about building the place first. 
Um, exactly. <laughs> April and Nick, thank you guys for being on. I expect you to come back on when you have some more news for us, and uh, we'll keep everybody apprised of what's going on over there with the Sag Harbor Cinema. Sound good? Anthony, you're Fantastic. great. Thank you so much. You got it. I really it. appreciate talking to you and to your audience. Thanks Abs a lot. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. All right, there they go, April and Nick, sagharborcinema.org for more information on how you can uh, donate. This is a uh, gem in our little corner of the world. I know everybody, even people who don't live in Sag Harbor, uh, felt the, uh, the the hurt a little bit when uh, the, the cinema burnt down. And, uh, you know, is equally the excitement of when the sign was saved and the excitement of the Sag Harbor Partnership coming together and being able to put together the funds. And I know any time... You know, Eric Fischel or, or uh, Billy Joel or uh, they don't want to say the name of their latest uh, donor, but he is a wild and crazy guy. Come in here and, and put some money together. I know there's like a new level of excitement. Like we're getting closer to this goal of having this. Like like the guy said, like, like April and Nick just said, world class cinema venue right here that just happens to be in Tech Harbor. You know, it's not, uh, you know, it's something that could be anywhere serving anybody in the world, but we're going to have it here, which I think is truly, truly extraordinary. And I also do, and again, I don't want to, you know, tip a, tip a cap to our own people too much, but Lauren and everybody here, management, have been so great in supporting uh, the folks over there at the Sag Harbor Partnership and, uh, you know, allowing, you know, me and, you know, everybody else to, you know, go out there and spread the word and let everybody know what they're doing. So uh, I just, again, I want to see our place uh, be as great as it can be and uh, better than Sheboygan. I feel like we need to send them a card. We've honestly been using them as an example of how great we are for maybe a little too long. Uh, but um, but yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I'm excited about this and I'm happy to bring it to the show whenever there's, you know, some newsworthy uh, topics to talk about. But, you know, they're always looking for funds. And again, here's the thing. We're down to the end of it. They have till the 31st. So anything you can give, any words you can spread, we'll have info up on the EHM Facebook page. If you can, donate five, ten, fifteen dollars, whatever. Hit the share button so you can spread the word. Maybe that post will find its way to somebody who can. Uh, that's how you guys can certainly help. Facebook.com slash WEHM radio or go straight direct to sagharborcinema.org.